Hey everyone, this is Blendmaster here with another Photoshop to Blender tutorial. And today I'll be showing you how to create this Windows Vista style wallpaper inside of Blender. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create or find a picture of a scene or take a picture of somewhere where there's a lot of contrast like this image. There's a lot of light areas here and darker areas here. We'll be using this image inside of Blender's compositor and changing it and playing with the hue and saturation so that we can get a nice background for our images like this. And here are some other examples. You can see it's really dark and we've changed it so it's a dark blue. Here it's orangish and then green. And that's all the same image done inside of Blender's compositor. So after you get that image, we'll head over to the we'll head over to Blender and create our spheres. So first thing we want to do is delete this cube and this lamp. And then we're going to go to Top View, Orthographic View. Press Control Alt Zero to line our camera up with our view. And then we're going to head over to Cycles Render and add in our UV sphere. I'm going to set the shading to smooth and press Control Two to add a subsurf modifier. Now we're going to be adding our material, so I'm going to open up a node editor. And we're going to give this a emission shader that's mixed with a transparent shader. So shift A to add, and then emission shader, and transparent shader. And you want to make sure both of these colors are pure white, otherwise it won't look as bright. And I'm just going to change the background to black, and go to rendered view so we can see what's happening. So right now our UV sphere is 50% um, emitting light and 50% transparent. If you play with this factor value, you can make it 100% transparent or 100% emitting light. But what I want is the inside to be transparent and the outside edge to be emitting light. And to do that, we're going to have to add in a layer weight node and plug in this facing value into the factor. And right now you can see that the center is emitting light while the outside is transparent which is opposite of what we want so just flip these two values here and there we go that's not quite what I want I want more of the inside to be transparent so I'll decrease the blend value to 0.1 and that's looking better but if we add a color ramp in here and set it to ease we can get much more of the inside to be transparent I'm gonna drag in this black value more so that we get only a thin line across the sphere if you drag in the white value, you can make the edge a little brighter as well. So that's it for the material. I'm just going to scale up our sphere now, up to about here. Just position it. And scale it up on the y-axis a little bit like that. And then rotate it. And that's looking pretty good. I think that might be a little too thick. So I'm going to decrease it by moving the black slider some more. And that's looking fine. So now I'm going to duplicate it on the by pressing Shift D and then pressing X to move it on the X axis. And then rotate it slightly like that. And duplicate it again and rotate slightly. And just position it right where you want. And then duplicate one more time. Whoops. Press Shift D to duplicate and then rotate it like that. And I want to rotate this so it's coming in from the bottom here going that way, so scale, and then I'll duplicate like that, move it on the x-axis, whoops, gx, rotate, just position it right where you want it. Okay, so I'll position one more in that corner right there. And that's pretty much it. So now you can just render this out you can even bring the sample to one because it won't make that much of a difference. We'll head over to the compositor. I'm just going to check Use Nodes Backdrop and Control Shift and Left Click to bring up our Viewer node. And then we're going to press Shift A, Input Image, so that and then we're going to bring in our image that we found earlier. This is the one I'll be using, and I am going to blur this out by pressing Shift A, Filter Blur. Fast Gaussian, Relative, Y, and then 10 by 10 so it's completely blurred out. And then what we want to do is decrease the saturation a little bit. So add in a Hue Saturation Value node and bring this to 0.75. Now we can 
add in a mix node and set it to multiply. We can change this color to whatever we want so that the image changes and is tinted like that. I want it to be about a little purplish like this. That's looking good. And then add in an RGB curve so that you can change the color even more. So just plug that in there. I'm going to decrease this contrast all the way to there so it's really dark. Bring in our red values to about there. Bring in our blue to about there. And then bring decrease the green to about there. And that's looking pretty nice. Now for our lines, what we're going to do is duplicate our multiply node and bring them down here. And we don't want our lines to be the same purple color. I want it to be orange, so I'm just going to change that to get a nice orange color. And I think that's good. And we're going to duplicate our blur node and bring it down here. But we want to set this to one by one so it's not as drastic. We'll duplicate our multiply node and set it to add instead. And plug that in so we can get a nice sharp line. Duplicate our add node again and plug in our original black and white image so that we can get some white lines. But that's too white so we're going to decrease this factor to 0.1. Now you can see that we're getting some slight white lines and it just makes it look a lot better, I think. And then we're going to duplicate this add node one last time, plug in our other image that we blurred out, change the factor to 1, and then plug it in to the composite node. And there you have it, a nice uh, Vista style wallpaper done entirely inside a blender. And if you want, you can move these spheres around to get different lined effects. You can change the color of this easily to green if you wanted, so that you can have a purple-green image. You can also change it. So this is very uh, customizable, and you can do whatever you want with it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Please share what you guys uh, create with this effect. And thanks for watching. Bye.